Number 15 on our house inspection checklist addresses excessive movement. If you have a lot of damage on your sidewalks, driveways, um, you could have some excessive building foundation damage. And I'd like to bring up a quick story here. I went to give an estimate on a home. It was a rental house, but the property manager met me there. And when I went into the front door, the front door um, was hard to open. This was my first clue. The front door was I had actually moved this way. So since the foundation settled like this, it actually created the doors to move. So the doors opened at an angle and uh, it was obvious that this house had some problems. Now, the front of the house didn't look as bad, but when I got to the back of the house, it looked like someone had dropped a bomb on the patio. The concrete patio um, or the concrete slab on the outside of the house was looked like someone had jackhammered this thing up. I mean, it was cracked. I, I think the biggest section out of this concrete couldn't have been larger than two square feet, but most of them were the size of your hand. It was really, it was really bad. And it was because this house was actually built on top of a landfill. So they had some big problems with the house. Now, when I say that we need to address excessive damage on the exterior of the house, this is also going to um, tell us that we need to inspect the inside of the house a little better because there's probably going to be more damage. If you have damage with your structural foundation, you're going to have more cracks and you're going to have more damage in general than if you don't. That's just a general rule of thumb and it makes sense. On this particular house, the water from the bathtub wouldn't drain because the house had settled so much um, at, this one, at the one corner of the house where the bathtub was located, it had actually created a problem for the water to drain out. And when I say to drain out correctly, it, was, it left about an inch of water at the other end of the tub. So um, these are the things you're going to need to look out for. And just like that, let's just say you don't have a tub that drains correctly, but it did at one time, this could be a problem. So why are we inspecting our house regularly? Exactly, to find problems like these and stop them as soon as possible from getting even worse. If you own a house, you should inspect it regularly. But how can you inspect a home if you don't know what to look for? If you're not looking for a complicated checklist or something that wasn't written in a language that you can't understand anyway, do yourself a favor and visit this website today. The most valuable investment you have must be protected and inspected.